Equations. XY tables find the pattern. What are they? Equations are two statements that are equal to each other. Why? It helps to make tasks simpler and improve critical thinking. Interesting fact. The largest jellyfish are the lion's main jellyfish. They can grow up to 90 centimeters or 3 feet in diameter and 37 meters or 120 feet long. Now, let's take a look at the examples we're going to discuss in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example 1. Let's read the steps. Step 1. Find the change in x. Step 2. Find the change in y. Step 3. Divide y and x. Now, let's read the question. Look for a pattern in the table where we have 0, 1, 2, and 3 for x, and 11, 14, 17, and 20 for y. Then write an equation that represents the table. Let's look at the table. What patterns do we see? Well, if we count the change in x after each new value, it is plus 1. And if we count the change in y after each new value, it is plus 3. Let's write down the slope-intercept formula for a linear equation, which is y is equal to mx plus b. Luckily, we have our y-intercept, which is 11, which is our starting point because x is equal to 0. So now we can substitute 11 for b. So now we have y is equal to mx plus 11. How do we think we find m? That's right, we can use the points. Let's start with the point 0, 11. Now we can substitute 0 for x and 11 for y. So we have 11 is equal to m times 0 plus 11. And m times 0 is 0. So we have 11 is equal to 11. Unfortunately, that doesn't tell us anything. That's not a big deal. Let's try the next point, 114. Now we can substitute 1 for x and 14 for y. So we have 14 is equal to n times 1 plus 11. And n times 1 is m. So we have 14 is equal to m plus 11. What do we think m is equal to? That's right, m is equal to 3. Let's substitute 3 for m. So now we have y is equal to 3x plus 11 for our equation. Now, let's try another way to find m. What do we think is another way to find m? That's right, we can use the rate of change for x and y by dividing the change of y over the change of x, which is positive 3 over positive 1, which is 3. There we have it, two different ways to find the slope. That is example 1. Let's move on to example 2. Now, let's read the question. Look for a pattern in the table where we have 0, 3, 6, and 9 for x, 6, 12, 18, and 24 for y. Then write an equation that represents the table. Let's look at the table. What patterns do we see? Well, if we count the change in x after each new value, it is plus 3. And if we count the change in y after each new value, it is plus 6. Let's write down the slope-intercept formula for our linear equation, which is y is equal to mx plus b. Luckily, we have our y-intercept, which is 6, which is our starting point because x is equal to 0. So now we can substitute 6 for b. So now we have y is equal to mx plus 6. How do we think we find m? That's right, we can use the points. Let's start with the point 0, 6. Now we can substitute 0 for x and 6 for y. So we have 6 is equal to m times 0 plus 6. And m times 0 is 0. So we have 6 is equal to 6. Unfortunately, that doesn't tell us anything. That's not a big deal. Let's try the next point, 3, 12. Now we can substitute 3 for x and 12 for y. So we have 12 is equal to n times 3 plus 6. And n times 3 is the same as 3 times n. So we have 12 is equal to 3 times n plus 6. Let's subtract 6 on both sides. So we have 6 is equal to 3 times n. What do we think m is equal to? 
That's right, m is equal to 2, because we divided both sides by 3. Let's substitute 2 for m. So now we have y is equal to 2x plus 6 for our equation. Now, let's try another way to find m. What do we think is another way to find m? That's right, we can use the rate of change for x and y by dividing the change of y over the change of x, which is positive 6 over positive 3, which is 2. There we have it, two different ways to find the slope. That is example 2. Before we move on to your turn, let's expand our table a bit so we can see another reason why our slope is 2. Let's go backwards from 3 to 2, which means our y value for 2 is 10. Let's go backwards from 2 to 1, which means our y value for 1 is 8. If we count the change in x after each new value for the first four terms, it is plus 1. And if we count the change in y after each new value for the first four terms, it is plus 2. And remember, m is equal to the rate of change of y over the rate of change of x, which is positive 2 over positive 1, which is 2. And if we added all the integers between 3 and 9 to the xy table, the rate of change would be the same. Now, it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can take your time to answer this question. Now I'll show you the result in 3, 2, and 1. Did you get it correct? Superb. If not, there's always tomorrow.